This is Coyote News. There are 22 students currently living on campus with either a service or emotional support animal. Coyote News' Jen Harada talked with Campus Housing to learn more about the rules and regulations of housing animals. While service animals and emotional support animals are allowed in on-campus housing, normal pets are not. Assistant Director of Housing Cody Burgraff says that the Fair Housing Act protects the rights of those with service and emotional support animals. It protects folks um, in their rights to live somewhere that they don't own and have right, like renting a place like a residence hall or even an apartment off campus. There's certain things landlords, which in this case housing is the landlord, has to do according to federal law that would be easy for somebody to say they couldn't do if this Fair Housing Act wasn't there to protect like emotional support animals and service animals. Somebody could say, no, you can't. But if a doctor says, no, they, they need this to function as a normal human being, that's why that law was implemented. Emotional support animals are certified by a physician and they provide relief to individuals who suffer from an emotional or mental disability. Service animals are working animals that have been trained to do tasks that assist disabled people. According to the Americans with Disabilities Act, an emotional support animal encompasses animals from all species. For Coyote News, I'm Jen Harada. The only non-certified pets allowed in campus housing are fish. The fish must be kept in a 20-gallon or smaller tank, and the owner must regularly clean the tank. 